All right, this video is to show you how to do a factory reset. If your box ever freezes, if things aren't working right, if the media player is not working well and you've tried running the wizard, it hasn't fixed anything, then you want to run a factory reset. So to run a factory reset, it's pretty easy. It will walk you through the steps, but I'll just show you here uh, to make it even easier. So we're going to go down to blue box tools. And then from the list, I'm going to want to go ahead and do factory reset. Uh, yes, I want to erase all the data and settings and restart with the factory settings. All right, it's going to take a couple of seconds to reboot itself back up and I'll hit pause so you don't have to watch everything here. So this is the next screen that popped up after the uh, running the factory reset and it's as simple as setting up your box for the first time. The one thing I want to point out is it didn't happen this time but sometimes when you do a factory reset uh, some boxes will appear on the screen and it will ask you if you want to clear cache or clear all data. Just make sure all those boxes are checked you check those boxes by uh, using the arrow keys on the remote to select it and then you click the OK button to either check the box or uncheck the box. It's a toggle. So uh, from here on out we're just going to be setting up the, uh, the device like you just purchased it. So this is how we set up the box as if it was brand new or if you just ran a factory reset. Um, but if you just purchased the box, unpacked it, um, plugged it all in, so you've got the HDMI into the TV and power into the wall, uh, we're going to show you how to connect it, set it up, connect it to your internet and everything. So what I'm going to do here is I've got the remote in my hand. I'm going to use the arrow keys mostly and the OK button on the remote. So uh, it says welcome, click next to set up. So I'm just going to click the OK button. And now it's going to ask me what language I want it in. I can choose a different language. I obviously want it in English. So I'm just going to click OK for next. Now setting up the screen is a little tricky. Uh, you want to size it perfectly. So sometimes people think that they can tell, oh, that must be good. But the easiest way to make sure you've got the perfect size for the device to match your TV set is I'm going to click the down arrow and that's going to make it get smaller and smaller. And there is a point where I see a black edge come out in between my TV set's edge and the edge of the screen that I'm, I'm seeing, that blue on the screen. So once I see that black edge, then I want to start clicking up the north arrow key and I want to fill it almost perfectly, but I still want a little black edge around the screen, uh, like a couple of millimeters. Uh, that's perfect for me. The 90% is perfect. Once I've done that, then I just click OK, which will send me on next. And now I want to set up my, uh, get my box connected to my internet, right? So I need to connect it to the router. I can do it either with the Ethernet, which is the Cat5 cable that I plug into both my router and my device, or I can connect wirelessly. Most people connect with their Wi Fi, but if I wanted to connect it with the Ethernet, I would go in here and click this box. That would turn on the Ethernet card. And then if I actually want Wi-Fi, I'm going to click OK here. That will turn off my Ethernet card and turn on my Wi-Fi card. The nice thing about this device is it's not constantly running both your Wi-Fi and your Ethernet card, saving them. So uh, that way you want to make sure you select it. And if you let's say if you originally set it up on your Wi-Fi and then down the road you want to change it to your Ethernet you would have to go into settings turn off your Wi-Fi turn on your Ethernet card uh, but here we are we're on uh, Wi-Fi and I'm gonna go ahead and select the Wi-Fi that I want to connect to so you should see a list of different Wi-Fi units uh, a lot of them are gonna be probably your neighbors uh, you wanna find yours on the list once you have it you want to make sure you select it by using the arrow keys. Uh, that's the one I want to connect to, so I'm going to click OK. And then you would punch in your uh, code. So 
before I click OK, which will make an online keyboard come up, I'm going to click the south arrow key down one, and I'm going to click this box right now. By clicking OK, it toggles or it uh, clicks in the show password, a little check in the box. If I clicked OK again, it would turn off the check, so it's a toggle. Uh, but I'm going to click OK one more time. Now I've got the show password. I'm going to click the north key and now I'm going to click the OK button when I see the cursor inside that input password field. So I clicked OK and then that pops up the online keyboard. Uh, this isn't going to be your password for your router. So remember, you've got to find your Wi-Fi password. Uh, this is mine. So I, it starts off with a capital A. So did you see how I went to that shift section and then I clicked OK and that made the, everything turn uh, to capital. I'm going to go ahead and click A. Then I scroll over O. And now my next uh, digit is, is actually a number. So instead of using down here I could go ahead and actually click right here and that will turn everything to numbers and symbols. I'm going to go back. I can also use the number pad on my remote. So I'm just going to use a number pad on my remote. So the next one's three. And then I've got three again. and then connect now so it's great because it tells you if it's connected or not so you can see it just came back telling me Wi-Fi is connected it shows my IP address that's perfect uh, so now I just want to finish so I'm gonna click the OK button and now I'll never see that setup screen again and now I can go right into media player uh, there is one more step you have to do. You have to download the media player. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to click OK because it's selected on media player. See if I use the arrows, I can tell what it's selected on because of the size changes on those buttons. So I want to go into the media player. I'm going to click OK. Pulls up the TV app store server is busy try again so I'll just click OK and you can see now it's ready so installs in blue but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click over right and make sure I select it and I'm gonna click OK when I've selected it now it's telling me to download so I'm gonna click download I'm gonna click OK and that should start the download now I'm not gonna wait have you wait while this downloads the whole time so I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause and then come back when it's finished All right, when it finishes the download process, I'm going to want to install it. So I click the down arrow, and you might have to click it twice, and then you'll see the cancel light up. I don't want to hit cancel. I'm going to click the right arrow, which moves it over to install, and then I'm going to click OK when it's over install. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to hit pause again. So the media player is now installed. So I want to click open now. So I'm going to click the down arrow again, and then I'm going to click over to open. And now I'm going to hit that. And I hit the OK button. It's going to go through this process. It's just the first time it's running. And then we have one more step that we're going to do after. Um, hopefully, I won't have to. Uh, yeah, I'll just pause it. Might as well. Okay, so this is the next step in the process. You can see it just says click OK. What we have to do is install the wizard. So click OK is how you, uh, or is just referring to clicking the OK button on your remote. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to take me to the next screen, which uh, is this screen right here. And I want to install the blue box wizard. So I'm going to go down, select blue box wizard, and I'm going to click OK again. Do I want to add, update your add-ons? Yes. Now, with this device, you have the ability to add, install adult add-ons, or if you don't want adult add-ons, they won't even show. So I'm going to keep it on no. And now I don't have to worry about any adult content on this device.
I'm going to hit pause one more time and we're almost done here. Now you can see when it's finished downloading and installing the wizard it's going to ask you to click OK so I just click the OK button on the remote. It's going to close out and now it's going to open itself back up so I didn't have to click anything to uh, open it back up. You saw that button open and here you're going to see this is how it uh, opens itself up when the wizard's installed. It takes um, usually about a minute so I'll just hit pause one more time and you can see now I've got a completely downloaded media player. Um, from here on out, uh, if you want to learn more about it, I would say the next spot to watch is getting to know your media player video. Thank you.